Hello and welcome to the Monster Profile. We're using this as an example of registering uh, information on a recruitment agency website. So my name is John Ferris, as you can see here, and this particular video has been previously set up for the purposes of showing you the details that will be required to input onto most forms of website. The first video that we put together showed how we could actually register the initial stages on Monster. So details like this postcode and details have already been inserted, as has the email address. That is the first stage of registering with Monster. Second stage is that we will put more information in here, and we're going to scroll down, see the information that you'd be required to insert or provide responses to. The words optional here, 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 and here indicate that you don't actually have to put all this information in. You'll notice that the viewable sections, and this is the same with each bracket, show who can actually view these particular areas. And <coughs> may be or may not be relevant to everyone uh, you may not wish to have everybody actually know everything about it. the professional overview the photo obviously is a photo so we're looking at the summary and we're looking at the example the information there and there you'll notice that you've got this particular button here that can select a whole group of different areas. So within a questionnaire we would be looking at asking that sort of information to ensure that you've provided us with relevant information towards any form of recruitment process. So experience is the next section and you can see straight away we're looking at the questions that you'd expect to have. The description note is optional as is skills. We also have the time period of the little box to indicate if you're currently still working there. On each page, we actually have to save the details. So, again, with education, you'll be looking at the skill level, you'll be looking at the name of the school and the dates attended. These are basic uh, areas that most uh, companies would expect you to be providing information on. Certification indicates qualification, institution name, date of receipt. What skills you have. So again, you need to be thinking about those skills. What can you actually do? Are you proficient with Microsoft products, etc.? Membership and awards. Now, for a lot of uh, companies, this may be very, very relevant. Interests. Well, most of us have interests outside of our employment. Some employers are looking to have that sort of information. And you'd add stage by stage. This actually appears at the other end of the uh, employer's area. They may be actually looking for people with specific skill base. This, I think, is possibly one of the most relevant sections from the viewpoint of alerts. And emails. Now you may well find <laughs> that you don't actually want your details to be shared with everybody. So this is something that you may wish to look at and discuss with us as to where and what information you provide. 
So again, quite a lot of information there in areas of discussion. The profile visibility. Now for some people they want to limit it. For many people however they want their information to be out there so that employers will find them. In many many instances it is the option to add the CV. Now this is going to be relevant to a lot of people. It is in uh, CV or you may well find the word resume which is actually the same word as your CV. Um, the resume is, tends to be for the American market. Now here are the key forms or formats like your PDF and Word documents and etc that you need to actually be sending out. You may well find if you try to put a photo in there it may go over the 500 kilobyte and data level. So again, something to reflect on. So there's a whole group of questions there that you may need to think about when actually putting your questionnaire together and to actually put yourself online. We help you with this within the um, the bracket of uh, the services that we provide, and we also help you if required with setting up email, etc. So if there's any further questions that you might have please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much indeed for watching this particular video.